Hey, what's up, collectors? It is Diego here, and this is still Sports Cards Detour, although the background looks kind of different. The reason why it's different is because George from KBO Collections had a video for his hobby drive, and he was basically asking a question like, what would you collect if you didn't collect sport, anything sports-related? And I had kind of like an instant answer where my mind automatically said, well, CD covers. Um... Back when I was trying to be a musician, CDs were the thing to that you were trying to make and uh, trying to get out. And, you know, my I was always trying to push our band, so I was always trying to create EPs or LPs or singles and have them recorded on a CD and given out with some type of artwork that I would do or my friend would do uh, that was in the band. So CD covers kind of... Oh, like I, I always found like I wanted to keep them, so I would put them in 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 the CD holder, like one of those big CD holders. I'll put the CD insert first, and then I'll put the CD over it. One, it was so I knew where where, where the CD went, uh, but it was also so I could look at all the artwork that was in there, and also the stuff that was inside. So I always thought that the CD inserts were pretty cool, and I have. This was a, just a little box that I f happened to find after a little searching. I'm sure there's a lot more inside that binder. I just don't know where I put it. It's in one of those um, totes that I have in the crawl space. That's just there uh, gathering dust, basically. But we'll go, we'll go and just start. Like when I said we were trying to do stuff for like local bands, you know, here's a local band called Liquid Gang. And they started out, and this this was Fantastic Pirate Satellite was their first CD, and 19th Soul, I think, was their second, or their third, I can't remember. But uh, the one of the guitar players I, I, I ended up being pretty cool with, and uh, he ended up having a band called Shovel Hook. And I was uh, always like, dude, you're like a little monkey up there, because the guy was everywhere. He was so energetic. Um, but these were some cool covers that they had. And basically, the, on the back of there, they would say where their record label is from, and you can get some goodies from them. So that was kind of like some of the ideas I would get. There was Godsmack. Like, basically, what I, in this first part, it's kind of like these are the kind of things that I kept on telling the guys that we should get onto our CDs. Like, hey, let's get a hot-looking girl and put her on the face of the CD. So this, is the, <laughs> this would be an example of that. And on the inside... You can see the band is there, just a regular photo with the lyrics of some of their songs. Then I said, well, let me do some drawing, which I did do. And Eve 6 and Reveille, kind of their CD covers for these two albums, uh, kind of reminded me of stuff that I would do it myself. You know, I, was, uh, I, was, I used to want to draw a comic book. Um, I, was, I wanted to be a comic book artist at one time in my life. That didn't pan out. And uh, that E6 really speaks true to my kind of draw, like the way I used to draw. And uh, same thing with this Reveille. So, but that didn't work out. The thing about this E6 one, they just have random photos uh, before they start introducing the band. There's a random photo of the floor. And at the end, there's a random photo of the ceiling. And then this one here I thought was pretty cool because it has the band jamming out. That's something that I would put inside. Uh, I said we could do the Weezer Blue CD and just go and, you know, just take a regular picture. <laughs> but I always like the inside of that one because um, I actually have photos of our of our band room at one time on MySpace. But it's kind of looked like this. <laughs> so that, I kind of like that CD. I was like, we could go to Scary. But our band wasn't really scary. Our band was kind of more like Matchbox 20 than it was Stain. So this one was pretty cool. Here inside you have Aaron Lewis with his mouth covered. And then on the way inside you had the Joker. Basically that's what it was. The Joker before the Joker movie even came out. You could do some cool, have somebody else do our cool artwork. Like Limp Biscuit did in Significant Other. And inside they have a bunch of different drawings and a couple thank yous to everybody that they was in there. They also have like everybody in the band. 
Wes Borland, Fred Durst, DJ Lethal, Sam Rivers, John Otto. DMX had a pretty cool cover. These now now we're getting into the um just cool things that were inside. Um like the way he did his prayer and the photos in there. It looked like burnt paper. Um photos of burnt paper with it. So I always thought that was pretty cool in the back. Some forty one just went funny and went with those. Does this look infected? Basically all zombied out. And we'll see the middle of this one. You can see that right there. All zombied out. Thought that was a pretty funny CD. Now, now we go into just CD covers that I I picked up and I was like, dude, I, I remember these and I liked them. Uh, I love this on the inside here from Unplugged for Nirvana. And the one thing that you want to know, you would want to know about me if you wanted to get to know me was Dave Grohl was my music. It, it, it still is my music hero. Um, I think the guy can do everything. Sing, he like everything he does. It's like 100%. Um, I saw, I saw him in concert and he was playing and he had broken his leg and he was on a kind of like a seat. That had like so many pyrotechnics and stuff like that, but he didn't miss a beat. It was just awesome. He great drummer, great guitar player, great uh, musician all around. So I, I I just like this photo. Plus I was big Nirvana. I was big into Nirvana myself. I also like Creed, and this CD cover Weathered has a lot of different like um, think about it type of artwork kind of. Uh, photos and photos like this uh, bell falling down, this hand, the hand of judgment, of life going through a maze type, like stuff that'll make you think. So I thought that was pretty cool. This Eminem one, mostly for the inside, kind of plays true to some of the songs like uh, the Mushroom Song and stuff like that. Of course, Eminem, Slim Shady. Always, always had that uh, thing where he did some violence to his uh, ex, but it didn't really happen. But his, his thoughts about it. This one here, I just like the cover. I was going to put it in the background, but I don't know. There was something about this uh, lemonade stand with an old guy behind it. <laughs> uh, Ever Adore, or uh, not Ever Adore, Adore by Smashing Pumpkins. I tell you the reason why I like this one, because in my younger days I was just like, "Oh, it's a nip slip by Darley." It was on purpose, and not a slip. Or Darcy, I'm sorry, I said Darley by Darcy. So I was like, "Yep, that's it." Ozfest 2001, probably one of my favorite CD inserts because on the back it has a bunch of random photos from uh, the concerts that they had. So I thought that was pretty cool. You got um, Marilyn Manson, uh, Disturbed, Papa Roach, Drowning Pool, Otep, Mudvayne, uh, Disturbed. I think I said that already. Marilyn Manson, Slipknot, just all these cool things. And, and of course, Ozzy. So that that's a pretty cool CD cover. Stabbing Westwards was one of... Uh, a, a, Pretty kind of unknown band, but I I used to like them. Um, but there was their EP that I got, and then when they made a Darkest Days CD, they had like these cool looking art pieces in there or photos. That was one of their CDs. Just weird things that I just was. This is cool. Another thing that I thought was cool was this lit. Now, I remember going to a show with Lit, and they got booed. <laughs> booed. Just, uh, I, uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was the Trocadero. Is it the Trocadero in, in, in Philadelphia? And, man, the, they were booed off the of stage. But then come a couple weeks later, and they started making a big off of the CD, and a couple of hits that were on there. And I bought the CD. And I thought the inside was pretty cool. 
like I was like, dude, if we do one, I want to do one like this. You know, it had like, I don't know, it didn't look like any other CD cover or CD insert that I saw. I like the the way that the inside looked. Very Vegas, Vegas-ish. But I thought that was pretty cool. Place in the sun. But yeah, man, they, uh, <laughs> the memory about them is just them getting booed off the stage. But it's still awesome insert. Uh, I got two more for you. As we hit the past the ten minute mark, this one here, I'm a big fan of Escher art, Salvador Dali, stuff like that. So this one from by Pod, um, I thought was a really cool piece. I actually had this hanging up in my room. Um, I wanted to get it bigger into a poster, but this is a piece of artwork that I just adore. Like you can see the city inside the floor, the the monkey chained up to the wall. The, the the Asian man with a monkey inside of his head. Like, this is just so... Such a cool piece right there. I, I I can't say much about it. But what I like about it is on the inside, the members of the band have their different ways that they're depicted. And then the one that I like the most is here's the members of the band several times over doing different poses uh, different facial expressions just over and over and over and over again and just laid on top of it. So I th always thought that this was an awesome looking piece. So, yeah. And then my final one, and this one is a local band like we started out with with Liquid Gang. I used to go see these guys at Grave Street. I saw these these this band just blow up in front of my face and I remember they got a cool shot at opening for Seether back in 2006, February 24th 2006, there was the ticket it was for Seether and Shinedown it was a great show and this band opened up for them and they were a local band, Hal Storm um, or and man, they just killed it. They like uh, Lizzie Howe, she just has the great vocals. One of my favorite bands, and this is one and done. Uh, the little EP was it an EP or was it a full CD? I can't remember what the CD was, but anyway, this is what the, this is what was inside. Uh, Lizzie Howe. Joe Hottinger, Josh Smith, and RJ. And I believe I believe Joe is her brother, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if I remember correctly. But here, uh, we would also like to thank Grape Street, Joe Hill, Bob Coyle, and Scooter. So they were always there. They had some awesome shows. There's some other bands that, that, that were really good at Grape Street. And on the back of there... You know, I said, guys, you got to sign this for me. That way I can remember this. And they did. They, uh, Joe wrote my name right there. And then Lizzie signed. He signed. Josh signed. And RJ signed. So that was an amazing moment for me. Seeing a band that that would play locally and get back get on stage in front of so many people. And this band just took off from uh, their – just took off. Like now, Hailstorm is just an awesome rock band. Um, I'm sure a lot of people know who they are if they're into rock music. And I got to have all their autographs. So um, this is something that I actually forgot about. I forgot that I had their autograph. This might actually stay in the background here. I might just keep this um, for display. But this is really cool. And so many treasure moments within here. Anyway, this was this would be what I would have collected had I not been able to collect sports cards. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this long video. But, like every other video, until next time. Well, thanks a lot for looking and listening, folks. I enjoyed being with you. So long, everybody.